What's going on Dividend Chasers? Dividend Bloodhound here with another investing episode. In this episode, we are going to talk about my trading 212 portfolio and the updates that I've got and the review that I've got coming your way for the month of May, uh, where I'll show you where my portfolio is at, what I've added to, how my positions are doing, uh, and for the first time in over three months, my portfolio is green. Finally, it gives me faith a little bit in my uh, in my strategy, and I'm really looking forward to bringing you guys that video. Uh, if you like what you see in this video and it brings you some value, or you like my stock purchases, or you like the look of my portfolio, please smash the like button. Really helps the channel. Really helps me get my content to even more people. And if you're brand new here, great to meet you. I'm the Dividend Bloodhound and it'd be great if you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I release brand new content. Uh, and that's it, yeah, pretty much without further ado, let's go in and have a look at my trading 212 portfolio. I'll catch you in <laughs> What's going on again, guys? Welcome to the portfolio. Look at that, I am in the green finally, and not even just by a little bit, properly in the green by 80 pounds. I crept in there yesterday, and my portfolio review is today, and I'm very pleased to see that I'm finally back in the green after three months. If you would like a free share with Trading212, please use the link here. It's also in the comment section below. That would be absolutely fantastic if you want to start your Trading212 journey. You can, and you'll get a free share up to £100 if you use that link and deposit a pound. Anyway, into the actual, into the actual portfolio review. So here we are, two shares, or 2.03 shares in Boeing, uh, in Boeing old habits in Airbus should I say currently 30 pounds up or 26.87 percent uh, there's been a real rebound to Airbus Boeing and airline stocks over the last few days next up is Allianz 0.39 shares worth 66 pounds I'm 10 pound up or 18.8 uh, 78 percent 18.8 now um, next we have Altria Four shares worth £130 currently, currently £12 down or 8.58%. Need to average that one down really. Next is uh, Babcock. It is uh, worth 20, my position's worth £29.82, £2.77 up or 10%. Pleased with this one. BAE Systems is next, also worth £30, £31. P up or one percent so far. Uh, Bayer is next. Position of one share worth fifty-eight pounds, four pound forty-eight up or eight pound uh, eight point three three percent. BMW is next. One point six eight percent. I re uh, uh, shares uh, five pound eighty-eight up or eleven point six six percent. I reinvested the dividend I received in BMW into this one. Next is a British land, current position of 10 shares, currently worth £45. I averaged this one down a little bit, so I'm only £8.48 down, uh, or 15.61%. I was a lot further than that. Continental is next, 0.8 shares worth £69, £15 up, or 27.58%. Just approaching the €100 Euro mark per share. Next is Mercedes or Daimler AG. I got two shares, currently worth £69.50, £16.39 up or 30.83%. Dutch Lufthansa is next, two shares, been in the portfolio a very long time now, making a little bit of a recovery here. £19.47 for two shares, currently £6.35 down or 24.59%. Next is Hewlett uh, Packard, £26.20 for three shares. All three of these were free shares, I might add. Uh, currently £2.40 up. They're about to approach X dividend in the next few days. Uh, currently 10% up on my free position. Very pleased with that one. Iron Mountain is next. 
three shares worth £70.50p, currently £2.50 down, which has been covered by the dividend that I've received from them, uh, or 3.45% down. Next two, we have the worst performing stock and the best performing stock in my portfolio. So Occidental Petroleum, real took a kick in recently. Uh, 3.15 shares were £46.80 and I've lost near as makes no difference half my money on this one, £43 down or 48 cents and they've recently cut their dividend to just 0.01 cents per share excellent won't really be receiving much of a dividend from oxy for quite a while i don't think anyway i digress next up is royal caribbean 2.35 shares worth 122 pounds and i've made a whopping 53.66 pounds on this one or 78 percent I'm getting the feeling that this one could be my first ever triple digit uh, stock return, but we will keep an eye on this one. Next up is Siemens. Uh, position is currently worth £115 for 1.2 shares, £26.86 up or 30.43%. Again, a real good return on this one. And then last but not least, Virgin Galactic, two shares, £25, currently £15.78 down, 38.67%. I was very surprised that with the space launch uh, that we saw all over the news this week, that people didn't get excited with the potential of space again and the share price tick up a little bit. I guess because it's unrelated to Virgin really in terms of its Elon Musk's baby and SpaceX, then people didn't really see the potential and Richard Branson has got his own problems with Virgin Atlantic at the moment. And then we have my portfolio composition here. So Airbus sitting pretty at the top. Through, I'm trying to build about 10% in each position. Uh, and then the others are making up 20% at the bottom there. Uh, pretty happy with that. I don't think I've received many dividends this month. Um, oh yeah, so on the 20th of May, I got a £1.65 BMW dividend. On the 12th of May, I got a £1.68 Allianz dividend. And then on the 1st of May, I got a £2.28 Altria dividend, which I think you guys may have seen. This account isn't really about the, um, the dividends, to be fair. Uh, it's more about making appreciation on some of these higher risk stocks, which I have enjoyed which I have enjoyed uh, purchasing. And last but not least, what I will quickly show you was my orders for what I spent my £100 deposit on. So I bought some more Royal Caribbean, three shares of BAE Systems, five in Babcock, 0.2 in Siemens, 0.8 in Airbus, and 3.6 in British Land. And that wraps us up for this portfolio review. I'll see you back in the real world. What's going on again guys? Welcome back to the real world. I hope you enjoyed my portfolio review there and it's given you some really good examples of just what you can do. I'm really pleased with that uh, return on RCL, the uh, Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines. Really starting to look good there towards a triple digit return on that stock which will be my first ever triple digit return on any stock that I've um, invested in, uh, in terms of a speculative stock at least. Uh, so thank you very much for sticking around to the end of the video if you're still here thank you for having the endurance for doing so if you haven't already I'm assuming you probably would have but please hit that like button it really helps this channel out uh, and I really need the watch time right now uh, and of course if you're still here and haven't subscribed what are you doing please do hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well if you want to be super super kind that would be great that being said that wraps me up for this video. I will see you in the very next one. Catch you later. Bye-bye.